All right, so in this problem, I have 81 to the power of x plus 81 to the power of x plus 81 to the power of x is equal to 18. So to solve this, for my left-hand side, I'm going to start by factoring out 81 to the power of x. So if I factor out 81 to the power of x, I get 81 to the power of x times, well 81 to the power of x divided by 81 to the power of x is simply 1. So I get 81 to the power of x times 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 18. Now from here, 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 3, so I get 81 to the power of x times 3 is equal to 18. And now, if I divide both sides by 3, these two cancel out, and I get 81 to the power of x is equal to 18 divided by 3, which is 6. Now from here, we can already tell that x is going to be a fraction because 81 is greater than 6. So, 81, I'm going to rewrite as 3 to the power of 4. So I get 3 to the power of 4 to the power of x is equal to 6. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 3 to the power of 4 to the power of x, that's going to equal 3 to the power of 4x, which is equal to 6. Now I'm going to take the log on both sides, so I get log 3 to the power of 4x is equal to log 6. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front, so I get b times log a. In this case I have log 3 to the power of 4x, and I can move 4x to the front. So I get 4x times log 3 is equal to log 6. Now if I divide both sides by log 3, these two cancel out, and I get 4x is equal to log 6 over log 3. Now, finally, I'm going to divide both sides by 4. So if I divide both sides by 4, these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 6 over 4 times log 3. Now I can still simplify this more. So I get x is equal to log 3 times 2 over 4 times log 3. So I rewrote 6 as 3 times 2. And now if I have something in the form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So I get x is equal to log 3 plus log 2. And I have this over 4 times log 3. Now. I can divide both of these terms by log 3, so I get x is equal to log 3 over 4 times log 3 plus log 2 over 4 times log 3. Now log 3 over 4 times log 3, these two cancel out, so I get x is equal to 1 over 4 plus log 2 over 4 times log 3, which is equal to 1 plus log base 3 of 2 over 4. 
So this is my answer.